Sodium Cyanide. Sodium cyanide is an ionic compound made of the metal sodium and the polyatomic ion cyanide. It is a white solid, usually in the form of tablets or crystalline powder. Okay, the first thing you have to know about sodium cyanide is that it's absolutely toxic to your body. Just 5% of a teaspoon can kill you. For reference, this is one teaspoon. Now imagine 5% of that. Sodium cyanide is an extremely strong base, which means it is extremely corrosive and reacts violently with acids. Hydrogen cyanide gas is formed from this reaction and it is extremely toxic and very flammable. Hydrogen cyanide is also created in sodium cyanide's reactions with oxidants, water, carbon dioxide, moistures in the air, and high temperatures. Therefore, sodium cyanide is usually stored in extremely sealed packages to prevent it from reacting with anything such as moisture and carbon dioxide in the air. However, if a sodium cyanide storage is caught on fire, it's a very big problem for firefighters because it will release hydrogen cyanide gas in high temperatures and also you can't fight the fire with water or carbon dioxide because more hydrogen cyanide gas will be created. Also, hydrogen cyanide gas is extremely flammable, so it will cause more fire problems for the firefighters. Dry chemical fire extinguishers such as these are used instead of water and regular fire extinguishers in order to prevent harmful and toxic gas being released into the air. As we know, sodium cyanide and the gas that it creates hydrogen cyanide are extremely toxic. And that is because they literally block your body's cells from being able to use oxygen. And so without oxygen, the cells in your body just dies. There are three main ways for sodium cyanide to enter your body. One is through ingestion and skin contact. So if you ever decide to eat or touch sodium cyanide, will be entered through your body but the more free more often way is through inhalation through the nose because of the hydrogen cyanide gas it creates and also fine powders of sodium cyanide in the air now what makes this sodium cyanide so deadly is that once it enters through your body through any way it's going to have whole systemic effects on your whole body meaning if you touch it it won't just be the part of your body that touches it gets poisoned. Your entire body will be poisoned. And the three systems that sodium cyanide will affect the most is your central nervous system, which is the brain and the spine, your cardiovascular system, which is your heart and all the veins in your body, as well as the lungs, your respiratory system. Symptoms will show rapidly following exposure to sodium cyanide. So include rapid breathing, Nausea, severe burns, corrosion of digestive tract, loss of consciousness, muscle spasms and seizures, cardiac arrest, and ultimately death. All of which can occur within just minutes. Because of its dangerous properties, please stay away from all sites known to contain sodium cyanide. It is an industrial chemical, so it's not that often that you'll come across it. But in the case that you think you have contacted sodium cyanide or show any signs of cyanide poisoning, please call 911 or Poison Control Center immediately. The main use of sodium cyanide is to mine gold. Its solution can dissolve gold from gold ores in a process called leaching. Most gold can be found as powders in rocks such as this one. However, as modern cultural demand for gold dramatically increased over the past couple of years, industries are forced to mine gold in rocks that have as low as 0.005% gold, such as this rock, in attempt to make money. 
Of course, these rocks can no longer be conventionally mined, and so industrial extraction using sodium cyanide is needed to extract the gold, and so sodium cyanide uses have increased along with the demand for gold. On the topic of sodium cyanide, it is important to talk about a recent catastrophe related to it. This incident took place in Binghai, Tianjin, on August 12, 2015, at an industrial port in the city. Here is a clip of what happened. The explosion started as a fire around the nitrate storages in the port, and when those nitrate storages exploded, it caused a chain reaction that caused the whole port to explode. There were 700 tons of sodium cyanide stored in the port, which was way over the legal limit. During the explosion, the sodium cyanide released tons of hydrogen cyanide gas due to the extremely high temperature. The toxic gas polluted the air while sodium cyanide particles contaminated the water, posing great threats to residents nearby. In the end, the Tianjin explosion killed 173 people, destroyed millions of goods and left this giant hole in the ground. In summary, sodium cyanide is an extremely toxic and reactive chemical that can also release the toxic gas hydrogen cyanide, both of which can kill you within minutes. Unfortunately, sodium cyanide is becoming an increasingly necessary chemical in industries to achieve efficiency in order to meet our society's needs. With the increasing sodium cyanide uses, it is more important than ever to use the dangerous chemicals properly in order to minimize risks to our safety and ensure that disasters such as the Tianjin explosion never happen again.